Hey cats, it's Ed, news hound bird here. Back with one of the viewers' favourites, the running news. Thanks for joining us here on the channel, guys. It's always appreciated. So there haven't been quite as many videos this week. I've been suffering with the lurgy. Nothing sinister, just a bit of a head cold. Alas, it is par for the course when you have a small child. They just seem to be a machine of germs. And this time I succumb. If you haven't done so already, please help the channel out by hitting that subscribe button and also clicking the bell below for notifications of when we launch those new videos for you. You can help feed the algorithm too by hitting that like button and also sharing this video with your running buddies. Danke schön. Story number one. You cats know that I love a new running shoe, especially from a different brand to normal. A piece of footwear that no other shoe tuber would be mad enough to try. Well, Lacoste have entered the fray with a new running shoe. It's no longer polo shirts or a splash of aftershave. This new trainer's actually got some really interesting technology. The Lacoste Run Spin Ultra has a P-Bax plate contained in either side of some firmer foam. A bit like a sandwich, I suppose, or the piece of bacon that's just been left in the saucepan a little too long. Mesh upper here, which is rather reminiscent of the Tempo Next Percent, which had that chainmail Knights of the Round Table vibe. There's also some lace loops on the medial and lateral side of the shoe. A little bit reminiscent, I suppose, of Nike's Pegasus lineup. That interesting raised arch area in the midsole and a very sculpted heel section. Certainly looks the part. And underfoot, we have Goodyear rubber for some tire-like grip. Almost like a wood effect-like look to the traction pattern. It's been a good year since I saw some good year underfoot. I think I'm right in saying that sketches also use good year rubber. Maybe I'll need to do a shoe tire rubber battle till the end. Or at least till someone gets a puncture. I think this one's got to be worth a throw of the dice, surely, hasn't it? It's got to be worth a bit of a gamble. Such an interesting new shoe to try from Lacoste. It's not going to take too big a bite out of the wallet either. 120 Earth credits for this one. What do you say, viewers? If you think I should pick it up and give it a whirl, let me know down in the comments. Story 2. It's always exciting to see Garmin launching some new products. I knew they had something up their sleeves. The new Instinct 2 has two different sizes available, which could be ideal for men or women with small wrists. This might solve my issue. I always have a bit of a problem with optical heart rate sensors on sports watches. Most watches are just too big for my skeletal-like upper appendages. There's some killer features on this new watch. All the typical sports tracking activities, along with some significant boosts to build quality and design. Solar charging is built in. It'll be ideal in the UK because we get so much solar power from the sun. I think the sun broke through today, the clouds, for about 20 seconds. I know how it works guys, I'm just jesting. That solar charging capability is built into some of the models of the Instinct 2. That may be a very welcome feature for those who have a bit of a phobia for the huge number of charging cables that we seem to have these days on our modern devices. We've got some military standard build here in terms of shock resistance and scratch resistant glass, plus a huge range of different colors and styles. And Garmin are gonna also offer a special customization feature in the coming months. There's a program called Your Watch, Your Way, which lets you select from over 240 different design combinations. I think this one's dropped in a few places already. It looks to be about 299 Earth credits over in the UK. Certainly a very attractive watch, this one, and I'd be keen to test it out. Keep your eyes peeled for something coming up very soon. What's your go-to sports watch, guys? Let me know in the comments below. Story 3. The pandemic issues over the last 24 months really hit loads of industries very hard. Fantastic musicians such as my good friend Joe Coombs are finally back out there doing what they do best. So good to see Joe playing that lovely Strat again, both in the studio and live sessions. But some companies have come up roses over the last 12 months. ASICS is one such company. The release of the highly successful Metaspeed Sky and Edge have helped them drive sales higher than before, with increased sales of about 23% across the globe. I think the highest sales increases were in North America and in China. A massive 31% increase in gross profits too, which ASICS suggests is down to the huge increase in online sales. Obviously everybody's buying their shoes online these days. Not quite so many opportunities to get out there and actually test them in store. ASICS certainly seem to 
be more aggressively marketing some of their products and I think it's working. Some of their top end running gear really is the creme de la creme. They've created some massive excitement, certainly amongst the viewers of the channel. I was really mightily impressed with the A6 Metaspeed Sky once I got it on foot. I remember even when I was still injured and unable to really move my arm at all, that shoe managed to get me somewhere near 20 minute 5k, that says a lot. I can remember I could just about swing my arm and it still managed to help me towards, I think it was like 20 minutes 40, something like that, which is nuts really. ASIC certainly isn't a daily run of the mill shoe seller. They've released some of the best models over the last year or so and are really pushing the envelope when it comes to those lightweight foams and new technologies. That Kensei Blast is one that I really want to test out. They've thrown the kitchen sink at it there. There's gel, different foams, a PBAX plate, you name it, it's got it. Can't wait to try a few more of their models out in 2022. Looking forward to it. If you picked up any A6 shoes over the last year, which ones have been hits for you? Let me know in the comments. Story four. Wearing the right gear can be the difference between a fantastically enjoyable run and a really miserable affair. Too many layers can make any pace feel difficult and too few where well, you just freeze. For women, a long-standing problem has been that of chest support. I appreciate I'm not a woman. I haven't experienced these things firsthand, but I hear from so many female runners that really struggle with this aspect. Just imagine for a minute that you've got a shoe that's a little bit too short or a little bit too long. The width isn't right, the lacing's wrong. It makes a massive effect over distance, doesn't it? Adidas have taken some time to assess where they've gone wrong before with women's chest support, stating that 90% of women are wearing the wrong attire. They got the wrong size, the wrong shape. Some of the scientific study that Adidas have undertaken have suggested that if women don't have the correct chest support, then their breasts may feel the same amount of G-force as an F1 driver. Adidas have examined a load of different sports activities from walking through to yoga to running, lifting, and they've come up with a huge range of 43 different bra types. I think there's about 18 different product levels and then loads of different variations within that. These include the train model for high intensity training and gym sessions, the studio which is for soft sports and lighter training. There's an everyday model I think which is just aimed at being used every day, 24 seven. I think that one's lighter to provide a more standard type of support and then of course the run model which is for running obviously they did mention that some women have to decrease their stride length quite considerably to combat some of the problems that they experience i think they mentioned is about four centimeters at some point which over a course of a marathon is about a mile. Just imagine you're adding on like a mile because you're not achieving that desired stride length. I think pretty much all of these products are available now if you're an Adidas member. Hop on the website or the app and check them out. I think this is a bit of a game changer from Adidas. Let's hope some of the other manufacturers follow suit. Another one of those situations where there's been loads and loads of research into running shoes but sadly, alas, things that make a massive difference to 50% of the population have been completely ignored. That's all the running news for today. If you spotted any interesting things, let me know in the comments. It's musical interlude time. An album that dropped back in 2020 and got a bit overlooked, I suppose, due to the pandemic was from Tame Impala. I love their album, The Slow Rush. It's a fantastic long run album. Some really nice paces there, some music just to really get absorbed by. I love the vocoder style vocals on One More Year. One More Hour as well, which is the final track on the album, is probably one of the most hard hitting in terms of the emotional direction and the lyrics. Probably the most dancey of Tame Impala's albums thus far. The track Borderline really nails that one home actually with those almost disco style beats. Really nice percussion there. There's some subtlety about these tunes. Is it me as well on this album? The vocals are that little bit higher in the mix. I think it makes the tracks a little bit more memorable. The lyrics and the message, I suppose, that the singer's putting across, just a little bit easier to take in. There's good hours worth of fantastic sounds here on Tame Impala's The Slow Rush. Thanks for tuning in and sticking with me to the very end of today's video. It is always appreciated. If you haven't done so already, support the channel by grabbing some merch, but also becoming a member of Edbud Running Shoe Reviews. We've got three different levels, three tiers, all offering different perks to help you communicate more with not only the viewers, but also me. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when we roll out those new videos. And also give this video a thumbs up, like, and share it with your running buddies. My name's Edbud, and I'll be seeing you.